Back to Perplexing Pool, and it's still early in the in-game day, so that's just wonderful. We still got that early morning mist. 50% of the debt recovered! How wonderful. Alright, let's put the Pikmin back. Because we're getting out our blues. Got the blues real bad. Alright, good job, men. Alright, with all this water, we got a lot to explore. First over here, we got a new enemy here. This is the Toady Bloister. He's just kind of chilling. He will try to eat you if you get too close, though. So, what we want to do is attack this, like, onion thing on his back. This is a weird enemy. It's like a manta ray onion thing? I don't know. Post-apocalyptic Earth has some weird uh, enemies. And wow, it is a, like really difficult to throw stuff... On. Even though that onion thing on his back is huge, but the hitbox to actually grab onto it is incredibly tiny. There we go. Bye, Toadie. He dropped a fishing lure. Ugh. And poisoned the water. Somebody's poisoned the water hole. <laughs> now we just have to make sure we don't spawn in any shearwigs. Ah, no! I can't believe I used a bitter spray on that. <laughs> but you know what? You do what you have to in order to keep your Pikmin alive. I have one bitter spray left. That is not good. <laughs> I should probably get some more. <laughs> Alright, but we get a fishing bobber. That's a cool treasure. 80 Pocos. <laughs> Let's take a dive. In aquatic mine. <laughs> you smell a farming session? Perhaps. Or we could do another session, which is just called Artie Doesn't Be a Stupid Idiot. There we go. That'll that'll bump up the blue count substantially. That toady bloister gives you a lot. Alright, I know there are more shearwigs around here, so... Yep, here they are. Are you kidding me? None of my pick. Are you serious? None of the Pikmin. Not even one out of all those Pikmin I threw landed directly on his back to kill him instantly. Are you kidding me? Well, guess we're getting the bitter spray back again. I don't believe that. I one of those Pikmin absolutely should have insta killed the Shearwig. Probably would have been better to just swarm him, honestly. Did you know you got 50% of the dead? Yes, I did, as a matter of fact. All right, let's try that again. This so this time we take out the sheer wigs first.
There we go. Much easier. Okay, Toady Bloister round two. Well, that's the key. Just get right under the onion. Oh, wow. He dropped so much stuff. Pitching two, you don't you don't get to slack off. Right, there's gotta be a rock around here somewhere that drains things, right? There's a rock in there. Interesting. I've even played the game before, and the perplexing pool puzzles are still a bit perplexing. Alright, that's a lot of blues. That's good. Some of these dungeons we're going to want a lot of blues for. Probably should have brought Louie back. Let's speed up the process a little bit. There we go. <laughs> 100 blues. I hope it's enough. Do want to turn them into flowers, though. Alright, gentlemen. Louie needs our help. Come on, there's gotta be some nectar around here somewhere, right? There we go. There we go. Cool. Almost everybody is a flower now. Wonderful. Build that bridge. Nice job, gentlemen. Do not touch the electric fence. <laughs> Under any circumstances. <laughs> That's a bad thing to do. That was close. The frogs can be a little bit glitchy sometimes. Hey, Ribbit.
Leave him alone. Yeah, like he landed on the Pikmin, but he didn't kill them. So it's it's bizarre. So we have to get yellows on here? Oh no, duh. I know. I'm s I remember- I remember now. I'm not dumb. I've played the game before. I know what they- I know what they want me to do. Alright, everybody go back! <laughs> we have a hundred blues now. It's perfect. Alright. Get out our 60 yellow. We only have 60 yellows? Wow. That that's fine. We don't need more than 60 yellows, I think, at this point. Alright. <laughs> so to get the yellows over to that electric fence, what we gotta do. Now, if I were smart, I probably should enter a cave and leave just to get a save point. But what we want to do... Get the yellows to follow us from up here. We need them to be very careful, because if we're not careful, the yellows will literally just plunge right into the water. All right, good. And yeah, now we now we as Omar can just flat out touch the uh, electric fence if we want. No problem. All right, let's get out twenty blues. Actually, no. We might as well get out the remaining blues that we can. We might be able to get to past this part this day, maybe. No tripping allowed. You're a flower Pikmin, for goodness sake. All right. Blue Pikmin, you just you can't. Blue Pikmin, if you bluey, you kind of hang back here. Maybe I should have given them a, a spicy spray. There we go. Alright. Omar, you pull back. Louie, you go in here. Right here. <laughs> a large rock sits in a reservoir of water. May I interject here? I have been observing the two of you working together. You have been cooperating well. Yet to face the danger is ahead, you must be free of the shackles of a boss-worker relationship. Learn to use X to separate and Y to change leaders. If you can master teamwork, you can overcome any impediment. It's actually foreshadowing there. We actually really will need to split the captains up in this next area. We have 40 Pikmin. Hopefully they'll break this down. There we go. Now it's a hole, and it'll drain all of the water. Isn't that nice? Alright, now. And it drains all the water out everywhere. Okay. Yes, I do want to do that cave on this day. It's technically one of the tougher caves, so you probably should hold off on doing it for a little bit. If you're playing this for your first time, but nah, I'm doing it early. Alright. I'm gonna do 20 of every Pikmin. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> exactly, just a little suffering. And with 20 of every Pikmin type, we'll get the hidden little Pikmin song. There we go. Hurry, gather your Pikmin. Ten seconds left until it becomes nighttime and everything will try to kill us. Let's enter the shower room! Every type of hazard. What could go wrong? I don't know I know I don't know about you guys, but my my shower at home definitely has water, electrical, poison, and fire hazards all together. No question. Alright, we're going to the shower room, sub level one. This is where fiends get tough. I actually don't remember this dungeon very well, so that would be great. <laughs> All right, I'm not too worried. We got we got some of every pigment type, so we we should be covered. Oh, it's a watery blowhog. Luckily, we got purple pigment, and he's easy. I see you over there. That's a regular Wally Wog who have better eyesight than the yellow Wally Wogs. He's just staring at me. I hate that he was hopping so close to that electric fence. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> and this is sub-level one, folks. It only gets worse from here. And this is the dungeon where random rocks just start falling. So you know, you know what I'm gonna do? Okay, well, actually, uh, hey there, Mr. Blowhog. You know what, I, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna keep all my pigment back at base. I'm just gonna run around the dungeon, try to trigger all of the hidden traps. So I believe this is where, yeah, there'll just be like, oh, it, rocks fall on your head if you go here. Like, oh yeah, like these, these wog poles are falling everywhere. But I don't want those rocks to crush my pigment and kill them. And with a hundred pigment, well... Taking your gambles a little bit. Again, it's one thing if it's just a wog pull that's fallen on your head. It's a, quite another if a rock or a bomb drops on your head, which happens a lot. <laughs> just you wait. There, there are some pigment dungeons where just you take a step and like five bombs fall on your head. Put the log pulls out of their misery. Oh, great! He's just taking a bath in the electricity. If he's a water-based enemy, that should spell doom. Get away from the electricity. <laughs> I 
All right, see you, Miss Harrow. Thanks for joining in. It was great seeing you. Good luck at work. Do 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 do. There we go. Is this the only treasure on the floor? <laughs> the, the lemon juicer top. 90 Pocos. The Merciless Extractor. <laughs> Maybe if you're a lemon. Oh, sweet. All the treasure is done. Cool. Delve deeper. Sub-level 2 of the shower room. Let's go. I'm expecting a lot more water. Shower room sub level two. Alright, we got a big open shower stall, just like the kind you'd seen at the YMCA. Okay, that's a lesser spotted jelly float. I don't think they can kill your Pikmin, but they are a bit annoying. We got poison veins everywhere. Oh no. So soon! That over there is an orange bulb orb, and they wake up really quickly. And he's right next to a freaking poison gate! Oh, great! Yep, this is where the game gets sadistic. Yuck, 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 yuck! I'm pretty sure if we try destroying this, he's gonna wake up. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away! Take this out slowly but surely. Alright. Swarm it. Back up. Okay, he's not going back. <laughs> yeah, the, those orange bulb orbs, man, they are vicious. They can eat your Pikmin pretty quickly, and uh, they're very aggressive. Alright. want all of our purples to the front. We kind of got to hope that the purples will stun him a bit. Just like that. Ah! Stupid rocks! Get out of here. Alright, Jelly Float, I don't want you over near that poison gate. We'll, we'll deactivate the poison gate. Yeah, so he'll, like, suck Pikmin up inside of him, but he just keeps them there temporarily until you kill him. Yep, there we go. Jelly float, done. And yeah, all of those white Pikmin that he sucked up are now back in safe and sound again. Alright. Cool. Get rid of that dwarf orange bull boy uh, bull bear bull orb. Sorry. Don't drop the soap. Gotta get that soap back. It's, it's easy to, to that soap just slips out of your hands in the shower. Boom. Luckily, Pikmin have a good grip on it. All right. How are the guys carrying the giant monster carcass and- oh, that's why. We only have two Pikmin on this, and one of them is a purple. Alright, bar of soap. Fitting for the shower room. Mild soap. The sud generator. That is its primary purpose, is creating the suds. Alright, we got more treasures. Understandable, this sub-level's a little bit larger than the last. Get that 
out of here. Let's just take a look around. Sometimes a trap won't actually... So sometimes traps will activate if you walk on top of where they trigger, and sometimes, like, for example, a gate like this, it might not start spawning until you actually use Pikmin to start breaking it down. Which is just so nice. Very fair, very balanced. There you go, take that back. get that many blues. I thought I separated them into groups and the blues and the purples just merged. Ooh, another Durasmell battery. The durable energy cell. It's a C battery this time, not a D battery. Oh, that was the last treasure. Oh, really? Oh, sweet. Well, I think we're now at the point of the game where dungeons like these, once we get all of the treasures, I don't care about dealing with the enemies. I don't care about exploring every bit of this dungeon. I just want to go to the next floor. <laughs> Although, I guess if there are eggs around, they might contain sprays. Why were there five Pikmin still following me? I don't appreciate that. No, I don't. You could have gotten eaten by a dwarf orange. Alright, let's go deeper with the Pikmin. Shower room is gonna challenge us a little bit. It's good preparation, though. This also means that... With a difficulty spike like this, the next couple of dungeons might be a little bit easier.